Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 38 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field. So there we look at this system. We can see in this X, Y component, we have the origin at there, and then we have two point charges A and B carry positive charges. They are equal, right? Positive Q and positive Q. And now we need to find the electric field as at the location origin O. So in this way we can draw a picture look like this one. So first one we can say for E A, this is the electric field that come from particle A. So it is just radically outward. So radically outward it is pointing to the negative uh negative y component. Right, and then we look at the particle B. This is still carry positive charge, so the E B still outward, radically outward. So it pointing in this direction. And then we can see for both the particle A and B, the location. So the location A and B, the distance between for A with the orange is L. So we can write the magnitude of the electric field as Ea as Kq L squared. Agree? And also similarly, we can write the electric field as magnitude for the B as the Kq L squared. So Kq L squared, this one. And as we talked in before, the electric, the particle A is a positive charge, so electric Ea pointing to the negative y component so we write it as negative y component and in this way the ea is a vector format and also the eb pointing to this way so we can see this is the triangle with the equal side lengths so this angle is a 60 degree this angle is also 60 degree makes this angle how much 30 degree agree 30 degrees, so we can um, project the EB in the X component as a negative EB cosine 30 degree. And project EB in the Y component, it becomes a negative EB sine 30 degree. So we write it in this way, right? And then input is a magnitude EB inside, we get answer, look like this one. Now you can see we have two vectors, EA and EB. Can you find the addition for these two vectors? Sure, we just need to add the x component together, add the y component together. It looks like this one, right? And then simplify final answer looks like this one. If we want to find the magnitude for the uh, electric field E, we just take x component squared, y component squared, get the answer there. And also, if you want to find the angle theta, you can use the arctangent EY over ES, the answer is zero. The next one tell you repeat, but let the charge B become be reversed inside. So that means the B will become negative Q. So when it becomes negative Q, everything is the same except we change this size. So we need to change EB and this side as positive. So positive and positive, right? So, so this is how we do that. We just change the sign for EB as positive and positive. So similarly, we can write the EB is a vector look like this one, and the EA keeps the same. And so in this way, we can write down the total electric field in the, just as the addition for two vectors EA and EB. And then we get the vector format for electric field E, and then get the magnitude as the squared ex squared plus ey squared look like this one and also get the angle arctangent ey over ex the answer is there thank you